So what is this thing called a motherboard? Well, the motherboard is really the primary building block for a PC. It's the central connection point for all of your various components. You use the motherboard in order to provide a method of communications between your peripheral devices, these are devices possibly external to the computer, and the CPU, so that they can actually get something done. It provides, then, the communication link between these system components. What are these components? Well, the CPU, for one, and then your memory. So there needs to be some way for the CPU to talk to the memory. And as we'll learn as we go along throughout the training, memory in computers comes in chips. So we have these memory chips that we buy in a particular form factor or design, and then we put those into the motherboard. And then the CPU is also separate from the motherboard. Although when you buy a computer at the local electronics store and take it home and turn it on, all of this stuff is already plugged in. At some point, someone took a CPU, a central processing unit, and they plugged it into that motherboard. Now, these were two separate devices, right? We have this CPU. We have these memory chips. Now, all of a sudden, they can talk to each other because they're both plugged in to the same motherboard. We also have things like expansion cards. These could be network adapters that allow you to talk to the network. They could be video cards for display of graphics on a monitor or LCD screen. They could be sound cards so that you improve the audio quality over that which may, by the way, be built into the motherboard in many cases. And so the motherboard gives the communication link between these many different devices. Technically, it's a printed circuit board with interface slots designed according to proprietary and industry standard. So there are different types of slots that are connected to the printed circuit board. But those slots are just connected to that PCB and they can communicate then like any other printed circuit board that you might see. A motherboard just has some standard chips on it and some standard components that allow it to work with other devices like CPU, memory, and expansion cards.